In today's video, we're opening one of the best series of tins ever made from 2004, the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin. What's up guys, we are back with another old school tin, and as you guys know, I really like this series of 10 2004 because they have this awesome selection of booster packs. Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Ferrana Guardian. I really like the selection you get from there. There's some really classic ones. A lot that, I mean, most of these haven't been reprinted. Have any of them? Uh, Invasion of Chaos I get in Dark Crisis, so the other three have not. So three that are old school, not been tainted by a reprint. Before we get to that opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Shinado, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, and Dark Magician. All you have to do, like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you like from this video whether it be the pulls the packs promos whatever all right this tin was purchased by benjamin on ruxin34.com and he wanted me to open it up for him so shout out to benjamin another thing you can do in the comments let him know that you appreciate the awesome content he is supporting also if you guys want to check out ruxin34.com if you haven't heard there's a lot of great stuff over there whether it be sealed product psa card singles if you want me to open something for you that's a sealed product just let me know send me an email and so this isn't too short of a video i have a few packs of my own so i'll be opening up these packs right here we got a few old school like original invasion of chaos original stream victories so I'm gonna open these up before we get to the tin, see if I can get anything awesome. Because you know, it's hard for me not to open something for myself. You know, I wanna get a little lucky too, who knows? You know, I wanna pull something cool, like a Starlight Rare. We have Melfi Penny, Dogmatica, Elephant, Merly, Smashers, we have Digi Jamming, we have Irifon, Branded Expulsion, and Echo, the Flame Body. So no luck for me on the first pack. That's okay, because we have, I think I have nine packs here, so. Nine chances at something cool. Second Power of the Elements, first edition, by the way. Four from the back. We have Melfi Wally. We have Morphtronic Converter, Sprite Red, Merly, Scar the Vindred, Crosskeeper, Vanguard, Most Distant Depth, Most Distant Deepest Depths, and Rika Konkon. Okay, I can't read that one. That was like a tongue twister. Plus, I'm already struggling. My tongue's all messed up. Okay, Battles of Chaos. Yeah, I bit it the other day while I was sleeping, I think, because I woke up and all of a sudden, ow, I'm in pain. Why does this card look different? Does that mean it's the Dark Magician? Could it be? Maybe. And more of your shell. Could you imagine? You can just tell the difference. We have Shot. We have Ordor of Fate. We have Darton. We have Ghostrick Siren. Vampire Ghost. Oh, it was something. It wasn't the uh, Dark Magician, but it is something. Vampire Ghost. That's an ultra rare. I will take it. It is. I mean, it's not guaranteed, so it's better than nothing. All right. One more Battles of Chaos. First edition. Let's see what I can get. We are in newer school stuff. I mean, 2000. 2000 I was going to say 2001. 2021. So not overly old. We have some org. We have Ogdoidic Festival, Rock Scales, Dull Happiness, Silvervine Sinry, Sword Soul Strife, Tamias the United Dragon, and a Maple Maiden. Okay, that's a dope ultra rare. Tamias is really awesome. Not super expensive anymore, but it's definitely a really cool one. Originally from Battles of Chaos, the set we are opening. Very cool. All right, Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, 25th anniversary. Look, it's a, it's a reprint, like seventh, ninth reprint, whatever of LOB, but. Hey, blue eyes is blue eyes. Woody Phantom, I would not be mad. Frenzy Panda, Trial of Nightmare. Raise Body Heat. Nimiriko, we have Gravedigger Ghoul. And, ooh, a left leg of the Forbidden One. Exodia. Let's go. We will take that. Exodia is awesome. Tamias, we're getting some classic cards right now. Let's try one more LOB pack. What are we going to get? One, two, three from the back. We have Firegrass, Dragon Treasure, Hinotama, Electric Whip. Larvis, Petite Angel, and Warrior Number One, Aquamador, and a Sandstone. So, no, we're not going two for two on LLB. That's fine. Now we're into the old school packs 2011, first edition Extreme Victory. Never pulled the Junk Berserker. Just throwing that out there. Let's see if we can get it. One, two, three from the back, I think will work. No, I think it's the flippity flip on this. Flippity flip like that. Okay, we have uh, Mech Lord Army, Red Carpet. That looks like a foil. Scrap Kong, TG1, Car Curry Ninja. Soundproved and TG Jet Falcon. Okay, I messed something up. I don't think it was the flippity flip. That's fine. PSV and IOC. I still have some PSV packs. These have all been terrible. I'm pretty sure they were weighed or something, but I'm going to keep opening them until we get something good. No, wait, no. Didn't we pull? We pulled like a super or something. So maybe there's something in here. Gamble. That's what we're doing with these packs. Cyber Falcon. We have Shadow of Ice, Drill Bug, Science Soldier, Driving Snow. Harpy's brother, not Sky Scout, Rain of Mercy, and we have, ooh, a backup soldier. I feel like we actually did hit something decent last time, so maybe these have, like, turned around. Backup soldier, original print, I'll take it. That's not bad, we got a pull, Invasion of Chaos, look. There's a few cards I'd love out of here. You guys know, the big three, of course, uh, return from, not return. Dimension Fusion, not return from a different dimension, that's a different card. Uh, Dimension Fusion's really big, four from the back. 
Can we get something awesome? There's some scuffing on this thing. That probably means it's a foil, right? Maybe. I mean, it's kind of good, kind of bad, because if it's a foil, it's great. If it's scuffed, it's not. Ojami Yellow, we have DNA Transplant, Sea Serpent Warrior, Darkness is Battle Prowess, Chaos and Big Koala. Ooh, that's an effect monster. This could be something good. Scuffing on the back, but I would love, I would love CD, DMOC, or BLS. I wouldn't be mad. Let's see the stats. Chaos Rider Gustav. Okay, foil's a foil. We'll take it. Yeah, 1400. I mean, look at this scuffing right out of the pack. That is wild. Some of these old packs did not have the best uh, quality control, obviously. Okay, now we are onto the tin. We are opening for Benjamin, which we got another chance at IOC. So maybe we'll get something good. I'd rather Benjamin get something good than myself because, you know, we've pulled a lot of good stuff. I like to pull good stuff when people want me to open their packs because, you know, they're helping me out with the video. So I want them to have something good. So let's see if we can do that right here. Let's hope this promo is really nice too because these promos in PSA 10 go for a decent amount because it's not that easy to grade these promos even when they come in these little things they still tend to have like centering issues or even still have corners messed up or whatever and you never know just the print quality back then was not great so this is uh, an obnoxious celtic guardian looks really beautiful from what i can tell so far a secret looks great on it centering looks a little bit pushed to the right let's see let's see about the back the back is pretty clean for the most part maybe a little like indent right there you can see Centering is definitely pushed that way. I don't know. How, it's not, I don't know how bad it is. It might be borderline. Honestly, a beautiful looking card though. Definitely not the worst promo I've ever seen, but you know, not the best either. Let's see about the packs. So, I mean, obviously great selection here. So this is the order I usually go in like this because Ancient Sanctuary, least interesting. Dark Crisis has some good stuff, but it's a reprint pack. Uh, Ferran and Guardians got some really awesome commons and rares. IOC has a reprint, but original IOC is like a whole new level. And then MFC, we don't get to open too often. So put that one to the back. Let's start with Ancient Sanctuary, 2004. So we're back 20 years at this point. If it was 20 years ago right now, we'd be coming out with these very soon. Like the year of. Okay, four from the back. Let's see if we can get something cool like, uh, I was going to say Dark, yeah, Dark Magic Attack. I was going to say Dark Magician Attack. Sonic Jammer. We could get the uh, uh, White Lightning, whatever it's called. Burst Stream of Destruction. Pharaoh Servant. Hey, we already opened to Pharaoh Servant. We, had, we got a foil. Piranha Army. We have Human Wave Tactics. Solar Flare Dragon. And can we get our first foil? Agent of Creation Venus. Actually, a pretty crazy card. Not the one you're really looking for, though. If this was like an Ultra, it'd actually be pretty awesome. All right, one down, four to go. We have Dark Crisis up next. Tsukiyomi is the best rare in the set now because Skill Drain got a bunch of reprints uh, in terms of value. Skill Drain still a great card. Not a, not a card you necessarily love, though. I mean, it's not that fun to play against. Uh, there's a lot of great foils like Exodia Necros. That's my favorite. Guardian Chaos, probably most people's. Checkmate, we have Final Attack Orders. Ojama Trio is a very annoying card fill up some of those monster spaces we have keldo pandemonium sakuretsu armor is a really great common not valuable anymore because there's it's been in a bunch of starter decks and stuff but as common so pretty easy to get right of the mind's eye and we oh this looks promising an effect monster and that usually when it's that dark it's usually a foil let's see if that's right Ooh, a dd warrior lady this is probably the best super if i had to guess and this i mean the back's pretty nice a slight scuffing in the middle centering's pretty good i mean it's unlimited i don't know if you're gonna grade it or not this is really just a great playable card but who knows i mean the unlimited pops are probably pretty low so if people are looking to collect sets of that could be decent all right three packs left pharaonic guardian Let's keep it up. Let's see what we can pull. I mean, honestly, getting a DD Warrior Lady is a very good pull. One, two, three, four. Can we get Metamorphosis made of the Aqua Trap Dust Shoot? All those are really, really nice. Book of Moon is a great rare. Narrow Pass. We have Molten Behemoth. A giant born from magma. It attacks with a magma punch. Not fire punch. 75 power, 100 accuracy in Pokemon. We have the uh, Shrive. I know, uh, too much. Radical Red. Charmer Shop, dude. We have Pyro Clock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. Sora Locus. And we have wandering mummy so none of those great cards from running guardian in that pack still two left still two chances let's make it uh ioc next so we're one for three so far if we could go two for five that'd be fantastic for an old 10 especially if it had an ultra or a secret as the second one <sighs> let's go let's see what we can get give us a big three one two three four or dimension fusion that would be great we have ryu koki a classic zombie card gail lazard hyper hammerhead he's hyper and he's got a hammer for a head a dd borderline dna transplant Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness, Battle Prowess, Chaos In, Big Koala, and finally, Mad Dog of Darkness. That's my dog after we don't pull anything. I don't have a dog, but if I did, it would be the Mad Dog of Darkness after we don't pull anything. 
Final pack, Magician's Force, original print. 2003, it was when this came out. In the 2004 10, though. So, you know, that's this, the 10 came out later, the pack did not. That one opened really easily. Okay, maybe that means there's something crimped in here. Maybe that means it is like a little bent up, this pack. So maybe that didn't seal great. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, hopefully a foil. That'd be great out of Magician's Force. We have Pineapple Blast. The Blast of the Pineapple. United Resistance. My body is a shield. Great Edison card. Just a great card in general. Miracle restoring. Decayed commander. RIP. Zombie man. Cliff the Trapper River. Actually a goat side deck card. Not bad. Kaiser Coliseum. Very, very bad card. Card you do not want to play. It's evil. It's terrible. I used it in the first episode of Auction Series. Wait, what's that again? I don't know. You'll have to ask Simo. Amazon is Blowpiper. And finally, the last card. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Go check out Ruxin34.com. See if there's anything you want to buy or you want me to open for you. Or you just want me to ship to you. Whatever it is, go check it out. Here we go. Last card. Will it be Dark Magician Girl? Dark Paladin? Breaker? Let's see what we can get. Big bang shot. All right, all right. Benjamin, thank you so much for allowing us to open this up. Make sure you guys shout out Benjamin in the comments for this awesome video. It's been fun opening this classic tin. I'll see you guys in another one. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.